Hello, in this video we derived the mode of an F distribution and show that it can never be greater than 1. Here the density of an F distribution is this. Um, often that negative exponent, this is in the denominator, but since we're going to take the derivative of this density, I like it in the numerator better so I'm going to have a negative there. Um, also this component out here is a constant in regards to x which we're taking the derivative of so I'm just going to call it c for a lot of this derivation so the derivative of this now we're going to have to use the product rule and then the c I'm just going to carry out front so it's the the, the product or the derivative of the first times the second then it, it's plus this first times the derivative of the second. And then this is the chain rule for this one. We set it equal to zero and we solve for x. So in, in here we pull out two pieces that are common in both of these terms here. This is what's left over, still equal to zero. We divide these to the other side. So those go away. I multiply this out, which I get this, and I multiply this out, and I get this. Now we combine like terms, so there's an x common in all this, we get this, so we take that to the other side, what's left over is, is this, now we, I put it in fractional form, you know, put it in fractions, so then when we divide this over, it works a little smoother, and we get this. And so this is the mode of, a, of an F distribution. Now a few notes that since this can't be negative, it requires that the numerator degrees of freedom, D1, be greater than or equal to 2. And here's the reason. When F, or when the numerator degrees of freedom is less than 2, the F distribution looks like this, and this goes up forever, never touching zero. And so there is no mode, there's no biggest value. When it equals, when the numerator degrees of freedom equals two, it's this, so it touches that point right there at one. So X equal one, or X equals zero is the mode, and when d1 is greater than 2, it looks like this. And since these are, uh, they don't have to be integer values, but that's kind of the way I think about them sometimes. But this is always less than 1, and this is always less than 1. So the central F distribution always has a mode less than 1. which to me is kind of interesting. So that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.